Today I want to do a review of another wonderful budget uh, blade here. And what you see here is the Ganzo G753CF. CF standing for the carbon fiber. So these blades are really an amazing value. Uh, these typically can be picked up at a number of uh, online retailers for under $25. And I've seen them as cheap as $15 if you catch them on sale. So let me go over a few of the specs real quick with these. With these. What you have is overall length of about 8.25 inches. You've got a blade length here of 3.5 inches, so that's a pretty good size blade. Uh, and then when it's closed, you're looking at about 4.75 inches. So this is a pretty good size blade overall. In fact, it's uh, about the largest folding blade that I would uh, consider carrying for EDC. Uh, and what's unique about these is that they have the axis lock. So it's going to be similar to your Benchmade blades that uh, everyone knows and loves. Uh, and that axis lock is just uh, an amazing uh, locking mechanism. They're a lot of fun to play with. Play with. They lock up great. They're just uh, really, really well, really awesome design, that axis lock. So according to my records, the patent ran out on that, which is why you see a lot more uh, blade companies uh, producing locks similar to the axis. Now, I think uh, Ganzo actually pronounces this their piston lock, but in all intents and purposes, it's a axis lock similar to what you see on a Benchmade. And another cool thing is you see with this blade is the shape here is reminiscent of a Spyderco leaf pattern. Uh, it's a great blade shape, uh, has a long cutting, a nice sweep to the blade. Uh, the only change between this and really a Spyderco is, is this one has a more fine point. So the Spyderco would probably end about, you know, about like something like that. This one continues out and gives you a finer point. That can be a positive and a negative. You know, a negative, I see that it's easier to break that tip, but the positive is that can really do some really fine cutting. Uh, so I just want to kind of go over some of the things I like about this. Uh, one of the main things is just how cool it looks. I mean, having that carbon fiber handle, uh, the blued hardware, which you can see there, which is really pretty. Uh, I really like having that blued highlighted on uh, or the highlighting of the blue there on the hardware looks really good with the blade this makes it look uh, like it's a, a higher price blade than it is uh, the axis lock or you know obviously works amazing um, these things are simple to close uh, simple to open one-handed you can obviously use the little thumb studs there uh, no problem. You can open it your offhand just as easy. It opens very smooth. But the, the one of the main cool things about this axis lock, axis lock. Let me uh, pull back the camera just a touch. Is that you can do the, the uh, flick open? So that one didn't lock into place, but that one didn't either. It's a little hard behind the camera. There you go. So with a little practice, you can just flick that up, open real quick, one-handed, and then same thing on the close. Uh, again, it's hard to do on the camera. It just takes more of a, a full body uh, motion. But that right there is a, just a really cool feature of the axis lock. It just allows you to pull down. And the way it operates is you just have that little deal and you just pull down the spring. Uh, and it allows the blade to open. And then it clicks back in this place into a detent here. And speaking of the detents, the detents on this are really strong. So um, you can see, you can actually hear it. Listen here. You hear it, you hear that clicking? That's, that's that axis lock clicking into the detent. So that's one of the uh, reasons why this is not as, uh, you know, loose as a, a Benchmade blade, where some of those are just so loose that when you pull the blade and you hold it in a vertical position like this, or pull the axis lock, excuse me, the blade will just drop freely. This one, uh, it's smooth, but it's not going to be as freely swinging as a, uh, a Benchmade, so you just need to be aware of that. Uh, I really like the design of it, as I mentioned. Uh, it's a little thick, but overall it's, it's, it's a good size for EDC carry. It's on the upper end of size uh, that I would consider carrying for EDC. Maybe you can, you know, get away with carrying a bigger blade, but to me, uh, it's a good size. Uh, it's a good workhorse of a blade. Um, I really like that the blade centering on these, you know, most of your gonzos are going to be really, 
well done. You can see right there, it's pretty much perfect. I mean, that is amazing centering uh, on a blade of this price range. So, you know, kudos to them for making sure that it, you know, your blade is centered in there. Uh, speaking of blade play here, um, there's very little or to none. You know, it locks up very solidly, which is great. Uh, most, you know, access locks are going to do that anyway. It's a very strong design, but this one, man, it locks up like a, like a tank, man. I, I love that. Robust. What a beefy knife. Um, the blade comes from Ganzo, you know, relatively sharp, uh, sharp enough to cut paper, you know, cut hair, uh, which is always good. Some Chinese made knives are going to come, you know, just with average sharpness. I was happy that this thing came, you know, razor sharp from the factory, which is good. Um, uh, I like the jimping that it has here. Um, I do wish that they would have jimping on the on the blade spline, but that's uh, you know that's that's nice. It's got the little finger troll there. You'll see, and allows you to uh, you know choke up a little bit on the blade. I like that it has a lanyard hold here, lanyard hole, excuse me, where you can put some uh, paracord or something on there if you if you want to do that. Uh, that's nice. Uh, it has very deep pocket carry, which is which is also. Um, nice to have so basically you know you just have from here up exposed in your when you're when you have it in your pocket which is nice you can do uh, you flip it around and mount mount that clip on this side if you want uh, the steel here is a 40 uh, 440c stainless steel which you know, it's a mid-range steel but the the main thing with that is it it takes a a, a good edge and it's easy to touch up so if you do damage your edge, it just takes no time to, to you know put it back up to the razor, uh, it put the razor edge back on there. Just uh, most of the time, I just strop this with some leather, leather, and it works great. Uh, overall, there's it's really hard to find a, a knife of this quality in the in this price range between you know fifteen and and thirty bucks. I think it's probably one of the best you can you can really get. Gonzo has really put out some really nice uh, products here in the last couple of years. And before I go into the negatives, I'll just show you just kind of close up of, of the actual blade so you can see the detail. Let's see if we can get the, the focus here for you guys. So you can see the model number there, G753440C, as well as the little Firebird logo there. There's a look at the carbon fiber scales, blued hardware. Uh, another cool thing is you can see inside there, they did mill out the uh, the spacers here. So the actual frame of the, the blade was uh, milled out to add, uh, you know, take away some of that weight, which is nice. Speaking of weight, this thing weighs, I believe, 4.5 ounces. So, you know, decent weight, a little heavy for everyday carry in my opinion, but it's, it's, it, it's doable. Uh, On to the negatives here. Uh, I will say that that 440C steel is just a mid-range steel, so just be prepared. Um, you know what you're getting with this. It's it's not a super steel. You're gonna have to you know touch it up more than you would those high-end steels. But uh, it it for EDC tasks, it's gonna do everything you need. Um, the point I do think is a little too delicate. Um, I think eventually, if if you use it for really hard use. Uh, you're probably going to end up snapping off that point. And it's not the end of the world, but, um, you know, that's something worth mentioning. I mean, you could always just grind it down yourself and make it, you know, not quite so delicate. But uh, as it comes from the factory, it's a little delicate of a point there. And then the size, I think it's a little bit little bit large for a, for EDC. I, I mentioned that a couple times, uh, which is one of the reasons why I don't carry this as often as I would if it was a little smaller. Now, I do know Gonzo makes a... Uh, slightly smaller version of this and I'm probably gonna pick one of those up for that reason uh, just wanted to mention that this one here the G is slightly uh, large in my opinion I think the smaller one is the exact same model number but instead of a G it's an F so it'd be an F753 uh, uh, I mentioned also that the lack of jimping on the spine of the blade here I really wish they would jimp that uh, that way you could choke up a little better without feeling like your fingers gonna slip around uh, you can't uh, mount this on, you know, tip down. It's only carried, you know, if, when it's in your pocket, uh, the tip, 
the tip of the blade will be pointing up. So you can mount it on each side here, but you can't flip the clip to this, this end. Uh, not really a problem to me, but some people may not like that. Uh, another thing on the carbon fiber, it looks very cool. Uh, it looks well done, but it is not a fully carbon fiber scale here. Uh, there's no way that that would be possible at this price range. So what Ganzo has done here is, let's see if I can get a close up and let you kind of just see. What it is, is just a top layer of carbon fiber, fiber very thin and it's at glued to regular old G10. So you can see the G10 below it, the black G10, and then the carbon fiber, fiber layer on top. So that is sort of, sort of a negative. Uh, you get the carbon fiber look, but it's not true carbon fiber scales. It's just a laminated top of carbon fiber on top of that G10. And then that, that handle, is it's going to be slick. Um, you can see it has a, a sheen to it. Um, so just keep that in mind. It's, it's not going to have the best grip in the world. I'm sure you could scuff it up with some sandpaper or something if you wanted, but uh, as it comes from the factory, um, it's pretty slick. And then the last thing I want to mention is that, you know, this is a made in China knife. So um, you have some of the stuff that um, you'll get quality control issues. I've heard some people with their axis lock here that they get from Gonzo is really loose and some of them are really tight. Uh, so, you know, quality control is, is always going to be spotty with these blades. Uh, the one I got here is pretty much perfect and I'm very happy with it. But uh, to keep that in mind when you order one, uh, you know, quality control can be kind of spotty. Overall, man, this is a great blade. Um, for 25 bucks or less, you, you can't really beat it. Um, I really just love the look of it. That's, that's the main thing that, that, I, that I wanted with this is when I bought it, I just loved how it looked. It's such a cool looking knife. Uh, it looks like it's a $100 plus knife. So I love that about it. Um, very pleased overall. I think if they made a few, you know, modifications and upgrades to this, it'd be just about a perfect blade. But uh, overall, man, this is, a, this is a great blade, and I highly recommend it. Um, take care, guys. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks.